Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am so excited to jump in today's video because I've been getting a lot of requests for some Cricut videos. So when I recently bought some new Cricut tools and accessories, I thought, you know what? I should probably do a updated Cricut must-haves video, but this one is going to be all Amazon finds, everything. that I got that I'm showing you today you can get on Amazon and as always guys everything that I am mentioning I will link down below in the video description for you guys so the first thing I'm gonna show you is something that I was so excited to find on Amazon when I found a five pack of these for $11.89 making them $2.37 each I knew I had to stock up and get some more and if you haven't figured out what I'm talking about I'm talking about some Cricut mats. So I found this five pack of mats. Now this is not the Cricut brand. This brand is called eCraft, but these are just as sticky as the regular Cricut mats. I haven't noticed a difference yet, but I just could not get over the fact that they came out to $2.37 a piece. And I got the five pack, so it came with a fabric grip, a strong grip, two standard grips, and a light grip so this was definitely a score and the next time you need mats you should go check these out so the second thing i'm going to mention kind of goes hand in hand with the cricut mats and that is this krylon easy tack spray i love this stuff so i use my mats until they are like no longer sticky and i'm sure a lot of you guys know a lot of the hacks on how you can clean them and all that but after a long time the stickiness just eventually fades and you just have to restick them so I like to use this Krylon Easy Tack spray. I just spritz this on the mat and it makes it just as sticky as when I got it. I've had this can for the longest time and I have not ran out yet because I don't have to restick my mats all the time. So this one can will last you a long time. So definitely recommend checking this out if you ever need to restick any of your mats. So the next thing that I want to mention, you may not need, but some of you might. So in my case, I was constantly taking my Cricut on the go with me. Whether I needed to take my Cricut it to work with me one day or I need to take it to a party because we're cutting out a bunch of stuff like decorations or something so I got a nice like heavy-duty carrying case for my Cricut and this fits all of the Cricut machines it's like universal and I've seen a lot of these out there that just have like really pretty fabric on them and everything and they just seemed really thin it was more just like a cutesy little carrying case I wanted a heavy-duty one so I got this one because it's like plastic but I like that I could carry it like this with these two little handles or it has an adjustable strap that I could put it on my shoulder because it is pretty heavy once you have the Cricut in here but I also like that this thing has like pockets so if I want to bring some accessories or tools there's a space for the cord in here so this is the whole inside of the case so once you have your Cricut in here it has these like velcro straps where you can like strap it into place but as you guys can see it almost looks like the inside of a lunchbox like it's like an insulated um, really thick padded carrying case but it has like these little zipper mesh pockets and it also has like divided zipper pockets on the outside so I could put you know my cords in here if I want to bring my squeegee or some tools I have space for all my stuff so this has definitely come in handy anytime I've had to take my Cricut on the go so if you've ever had to take your Cricut on the go I definitely recommend getting yourself one of these travel cases Okay, so the next thing that I want to show you guys is something like super simple that you may have just overlooked and not thought about. But I am constantly trying to think of new ways to keep my stuff organized, try to maintain a clean and organized craft room. And I know it is so hard. I'm sure most of you guys can agree. So one of the little tricks that I do anytime I have a vinyl scrap, it doesn't matter what type of vinyl I'm using. I have these little accordion paper file holders and i say accordion because they have like these accordion like tab dividers in them and i just separate my vinyl in there so i have a bunch of different ones of these for different types of vinyl i have one for my htv i have one for my regular vinyl i have one for my specialty vinyl like my glitter vinyl my opal iridescent holographic foil type vinyl so i love these just because anytime i have a scrap i don't want to waste it because i could eventually use it for a project so i just 
throw it in its according tab because I have them separated by color. And then I just close the whole thing up and then throw it in the drawer with the rest of my vinyl scraps. These are super cheap and affordable. You can get these in several packs, which is what I did. So I definitely thought that one was worth sharing. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna show you guys I didn't even think about ordering them off of Amazon because I typically only went to like Hobby Lobby or Michaels to buy these before. And then I was like, I should probably just look on Amazon and see if they're cheaper. And sure enough, they were. And that is different attachments and tips for your Cricut. So before you go buy any attachment or tip or new blade for your Cricut at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or any other crafting retail store, definitely go check on Amazon for whatever attachment you are looking for just to see it never hurts. Sometimes you can get a bundle. Sometimes you can get like just the blade if you don't need the whole housing piece. So I just found this little engraver tip on Amazon and this was significantly cheaper than what I could have got it for at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And the next thing that I wanna show you guys is my favorite transfer tape. I got this off of Amazon forever ago. This was in my last Cricut Must Haves video and this is that same roll, you guys. It still has not run out. So this is transfer tape and I love this roll because it is six inches. Now I could have gotten this in the bigger 12 inch roll, but I just like the six inches because I'm typically not cutting anything that's bigger than that or wider than six inches, I should say. But even if I did, I could just layer it so it would cover the whole mat if I needed it to. But I just love this transfer tape because number one, it's significantly cheaper than Cricut's transfer tape. I mean, you're paying more for this specific roll, but it's because you're getting so much. So this is 300 feet of transfer tape for only $25. $25 for 300 feet. I find that this one just peels away from the vinyl so much more easily. I also like that it's really easy to reposition with this transfer tape. It peels away from the vinyl very easily, like I said. And as you can see, it's not like 100% transparent. It's like a little foggy, but it's not so bad that you can't see what you're putting your vinyl on. Like I started using this transfer tape when I was doing the reusable Starbucks cups and I would have to put my decal around the Starbucks logo like perfectly. And I always did it with this transfer tape right here and I never had an issue. Like I said, once you're putting it over the cup, like you can see exactly where it's going to be. But for only $25, getting 300 feet of this transfer tape. You couldn't beat that. I will continue to buy this, but like I said, I have had this for such a long time and I have not even come close to running out yet. Now this next thing I'm gonna show you guys, I recently just got and added to my Cricut and I'm so thankful that I did that I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Now, if you saw my most recent vlog, then you know what I'm talking about because I attached them to my Cricut and showed you guys how they worked. But just in case you haven't checked out that vlog yet, I'm referring to these little wheels that I got to put on the bottom of my Cricut so I can just slide it around whenever I need to use it. So these are the wheels. And as you guys can see, there's just like this foam piece right here. And then you just peel off the backing and then it has this adhesive on it. And then you can just stick these to the bottom of your Cricut so that you can slide it around whenever you need to. So I'll show you guys that right now. So I have five wheels on my Cricut. I have two on each side and then I have one on the middle just for some extra support on the bottom. But once you stick them on, they just roll around super easily not that noisy and it has just been so handy to just be able to slide my Cricut whichever way I need it with ease. Not having to lift it up has been so nice. And I actually got a bigger pack of the wheels. Um, so I put some on my printer and my sublimation printer so I can just roll out all of my devices as I need to. So definitely recommend checking these wheels out if you haven't already. Okay, so moving right along, now we're jumping into the fun part. I'm gonna show you guys some of the cool tools that I have found on Amazon for my Cricut. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna show you guys, I use almost daily, and that is this Fiskars Rotary Cutter Tool. So it has like this safeguard on it. So until you push this button in and slide it down, then the blade will be exposed so that you can use it. But I love this because I can just lay my vinyl out on my mat. I don't have to get my scissors out and fight with my vinyl. I can just lay my vinyl down and just cut right on my mat and it cuts perfect every single time. 
I've had this for a long time and I have replacement blades for that but I haven't even needed to replace the blades yet so I love this thing definitely recommend checking this out now while we're talking about Fiskars I also got this um, Fiskars paper cutter I actually got mine on sale in a store one day but I have seen them on Amazon and then I just put my vinyl on and it has like the chopper blade on it where you can just chop it I also use this to cut a lot of my tags out for my shirt my little postcards that I send out and all kinds of other paper projects and obviously it wouldn't be a Cricut must-have video if I didn't mention squeegees not only is it one of my favorite colors and it matches all of my stuff but I love that these have holes in them so I can hang them directly on my pegboard so if any of you guys had pegboard then these are the squeegees for you I was digging and digging on Amazon and I didn't see a lot of them that had holes in them so when I found these and they were my color and it was a two pack you get a regular size one and this large large one that's like the size of my hand for like $6.99 I couldn't beat that okay so this next tool is a brand new tool that I just got I have not used it yet but I've heard so many great things from other Cricut crafters I've seen a ton of other people use these so when I found this one on Amazon and it matched all of my stuff I knew I had to get it so I'm talking about this brayer so it's white and turquoise and matches all my stuff I also love that it has a hook at the top so I can hang it on my pegboard with all of my other Cricut stuff but basically you just use this to put your vinyl onto things whether you're putting your vinyl on your mat and you want to roll your vinyl out to make sure there are no creases or bubbles and it is completely adhered down to your mat or let's say you already have your vinyl attached to your transfer tape and now you want to roll it on the transfer tape to make sure it's really on there and then you put it on your project and then you can use the brayer again to make the vinyl adhere to your project so basically this is kind of like a squeegee but it's like a super squeegee because you can put a lot more pressure on it it rolls it out evenly making sure there's no creases or wrinkles or bubbles or anything in it but I also like that this one came with like an interchangeable roll so this roller is just like plastic but apparently you can just pop this out and then put this one in and this one is super sticky and you can can use it to like get lint off of your shirts before you put your HTV on like I said I just got this so I haven't really gotten to test it out yet but I thought it was super cool that it came with a sticky interchangeable roller for the brayer so I cannot wait to use this and this brayer also came with two super nice pair of tweezers it came with a flathead pair of tweezers and a hook pair of tweezers that are super sharp, super nice. Which just leads me into the next Cricut must have, which is a pair of tweezers. I love using tweezers, especially these like fine tip needle point hook tweezers. These are great for weeding. I also love that it has a little hook at the top that I can hang on a peg on my pegboard. And while we're on the topic of weeding, I'm gonna show you a couple of other Cricut must haves. So while this looks like a normal pen, this is actually a weeding pen and hopefully I can get close enough to where you guys can see it but you see how there's like a tiny little needle inside of that tip there that tiny little tip makes it so easy to weed and then whenever the vinyl is like giving me a hard time if it's like not coming off of the point um, then I just unclick it and then it will just fall off because the whole entire tip goes inside the pen just like a normal pen would and the vinyl will just flick off of it so this has been super handy to weed my vinyl out with definitely recommend checking this out but if you like the OG weeding tool that most Cricuts come with um, or at least all of their like accessory toolkits come with then I definitely recommend that you check out these cheaper alternatives so these are actually like dentist tools and I got a pack of these and they all have like different tips and stuff so which has just made it really nice to like weed out certain projects with certain types of vinyl being a little bit harder to weed than others I've just found that these dentist tools because the tips are so much sharper than the normal weeding tool because they're made for like your teeth they are just like a finer and sharper tip and it's just been super easy to weed stuff out with these and then the last thing that I want to show you guys that I love using whenever I am weeding is this cute little scraps collector. So this brand is called Tweaksy. It comes in a ton of different colors so you can literally get 
whatever color you want to match all of your stuff or match the theme of your craft room or whatever. And side note, you can also use this to hold your nail polish bottle on your hand while you're painting your nails so you don't have to like hold it or put it off to the side and get like nail polish everywhere. You can put it right in your hand, put the nail polish in there and then paint your nails. So I like that it has a dual purpose. But whenever you're weeding your vinyl, you just push it in there with your weeding tool and then you just slide your tip to one of the creases and the vinyl will stick in there. And then once this is full, I just take a piece of tape or Typically it's like the last piece of vinyl that I put in there and I will just shove it in there and it will just like stick to all of the other vinyl and then it will come out in one big chunk and your thing is empty and clean just like when you got it. So definitely recommend checking this out if you hate weeding vinyl and you hate getting scraps and stuff everywhere and you find it a pain, definitely invest in one of these. They are very inexpensive and so handy. All right guys, hopefully you found some useful information in this video and you found something that maybe you wanna go check out or try for yourself. Like I said before, all of the links will be down in the video description for you guys. And as always, if you like this video, please let me know that you liked it by giving me a big thumbs up. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any other crafty content. And wait, 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 before you go and click away, this is post future editing Erica here. And I almost forgot to remind you guys that if you did not tune in to my last live then you probably missed my little announcement where I said I was gonna be hosting a virtual crafting zoom party so that I can chat and craft live with you guys on Sunday April 3rd at 8 p.m. if this is something that you want to be a part of and you want to join our zoom conference then be sure to click the link in the video description down below where I'm going to link a Google form all you have to do is just put your name and your email click submit and as long as you are one of the first 25 people to submit then you will receive a confirmation email with all of the zoom party details and information so hopefully you can make it but if not it's okay I'm going to be hosting more in the future but I am so excited for this so like I said if this is something that you're interested in being a part of be sure to click the video description down below find the link that I'm going to list for you guys and then fill out that google form and submit it so you can join our zoom party okay I gotta get back to editing now. Bye guys.